Welcome to Dance Dish, where the dance ends and the dish begins. I'm Helene Phillips, the creator of Dance Dish, and your host for this episode. Now today, we are going to dish it up a little differently because Dance Dish went on location, and we are in this beautiful home of one of our guests. So without further ado, the myth the man, the legend, Joe Tremaine. Give it up, give it up. And then sitting right next to him is someone that I think Joe has watched grow up. Indeed. And I watched a little bit of that as well. Uh, I don't honestly think I know someone as talented as a dancer, as a choreographer, as a director, a producer, an educator, and a beyond all that, a really, really great guy. So without further ado, give it up for our one and only Barry Lather. Yay. Yeah. Take us back. It's Oak Ridge, Louisiana. You're a little boy. You're behind your dad's store, listening to the radio, and it's where it all began, right? Exactly, exactly. We had a meat market back there, and uh, the delivery boys, they had the um, music on the station that was the funkiest and all the <laughs> music, and I would be back there dancing with them. And uh, that's why, I, that was the kind of music I wanted to hear. I always went to uh, uh, dance with them and on the deliveries. You know, that's funny. so that's how I started. With and I music. and didn't you have back there even as a little boy, you guys kind of did dance battles. Yeah, we would act like fools. <laughs> but uh, we did, unfortunately we didn't have a Barry Lather back then. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's a clown. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, oh God, I just loved it. Man, send me, give me some music, any kind of music. Give me some music. Uh, I was happy, 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 happy. And then I heard you were around six that you got your first pair of tap shoes? Yeah, we, uh, three guys, three girls, and we all studied tap together, sat tap dance. And uh, then we started uh, performing all over the area. My dance teacher took us to Texas Association Teachers of Dance. Oh, wow. I don't know how I remember wow. that. T-A-T-D. So. I read where you went to college. You went to a university. My father kept insisting that I go and get a degree. And so uh, I went to uh, Louisiana Tech and uh, for two years, and then I transferred to Monroe, Louisiana, and uh, I got a degree there in sociology and psychology uh, with a minor in history, yeah. and which I great. thought was important. And uh, as soon as I got that, I went uh, down to New Orleans and uh, I could type really fast and all that on a real typewriter. <laughs> and, uh, What's that? I started taking classes and doing shows in New Orleans. The next thing I knew, I thought, well, okay, I saved enough money, I can go take a trailway bus up to uh, New York, because that's where I always wanted to be. Right, I didn't. Right. I didn't know too much about LA. But, uh, and who did you train with? Luigi and, uh, <laughs> and Matt Maddox. And eventually I was able to uh, take class with Giordano. And mm -hmm. that was in oh, Chicago. Oh, Gus Giordano, area. yeah. Gus Giordano. Claude Thompson? Claude Thompson, exactly. Bingo. The next thing I knew, I auditioned for uh, a show called Mardi Gras. Well, I just moved from New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, How appropriate. <laughs> and uh, in the show was uh, Joel Gray, but he was not a star yet. He was semi-star. And it starred <laughs> Louis Armstrong. Oh my God. Uh, and uh, Guy Lombardo and his Royal Canadians. Oh my God. And then after that, I uh, auditioned for Nick Castle. But didn't uh, June Taylor take you to Miami? I auditioned for June Taylor in, for the Jackie Gleason show, shooting down in Miami. He was in Miami then. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't so, in LA or New York. Uh-uh. Yeah. So June Taylor dancers uh, added to the Jackie Gleason show for male dancers. Wow. Well, and let me just say, Jackie Gleason show was massive. It was huge. It was huge. I mean, you gotta go Every check this Sunday out. Night, huge. It was great. Yeah. And June loved me. And I could tap dance and do all the stuff, you know, and I could versatile and ballet, ballet, ballet. Every yeah. dancer should have ballet. And June took me under her wing 
And then uh, the next thing I knew, there was an audition for Guys by Nick Castle. Remember Another that? huge name. Yeah. Yeah, huge. look him up. So Nick Castle was holding an audition for Caterina Valente. <laughs> Remember Caterina Valente? A uh, European star who could tap dance, who could stand on her head, could do anything. Oh my gosh. So versatile. And I got the gig, and we go off to Europe, we go to Amsterdam and start rehearsing. And uh, the first day of rehearsal, uh, Nick Castle said, Hey, Tremaine, uh, we want to see you after rehearsal today. Scared the <laughs> shit out of me. Trouble. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm be, he's going to be sending me back to America. And he said, stay. And his assistant, Alex Plasher, who yeah. was a great guy, uh, they said, stay. We want to talk to you. Well, I, you know, it was like, yee, all <laughs> afternoon. They said, you're very good. You're very versatile. And uh, you got a great work ethic, all that stuff. Uh, we want to, we're going to be doing the Jerry Lewis TV show. Well, Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they both uh, were there, but they had broken up. Oh, okay. And so we went run rehearsal and right across the hall, diagonally, was Dean Martin away oh, from my us. Gosh. Yeah, it was crazy. And they didn't speak to each other or? Not speak to each other yeah. at all. <laughs> oh, no, my. No, no, not at all. And what a break, right? Oh, what? my God. He shows in Burbank? That uh, one? NBC Burbank, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did every episode of the show for wow. two years. Wow. So, this yeah. was your big, 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 break. big break, yeah. The yeah. big move. Big break. Wow. Uh, well, and yeah. you said that Nick was so kind and loved you so much that he introduced you to a lot of people. He introduced me to every choreographer working. Ernie Flat, wasn't it, for the Carabinette show? Yeah. Cabernet Chef Robert Sidney, he choreographed the Dean Martin show. Oh, okay. The Dean Martin wow. show, yeah. So much stuff that I have is from him. He left me. Oh, I have a ring. I should have pulled that out of it. George Balanchine. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a wow. That's a wow. <laughs> yeah, it's in my desk drawer. And, oh, my gosh. But, uh, Bob Sidney left it for me. And one day I walked by and he goes, you. Are you that famous d dancer from New York City? And I said, I was like nodding my head. I read his <laughs> lips and I went on. Oh, he goes, you will never make it in this town. <gasps> oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Uh -huh. <gasps> yes. That was a little ruthless. That was. Oh, yeah. yes. but, he, but he was being, he was, was, he just, being, he was, he was just being obnoxious. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and make, trying to make me laugh. Yeah. And he could, and I laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> and I thought, f*** <laughs> you. Yeah, really. And, uh, <laughs> I agree. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. And then we became best friends. Oh, that's cool. this dying day. Aww. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I think we should toast. Hey. So oh, here, toast. Barry, here's your glass. Thank you. And I want to toast to, um, oh, my gosh, I'll get for clumped. For clumped. To my mentor. Oh. Who trained me and made me what I am. So here's to Joe Tremaine. Hey, hey. <laughs> and here's to Dan's Dish. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Pull that sucker in, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well. I don't need runny mascara. No runny mascara. Oh my gosh. I used all mine last night. You dance this. <laughs> Six, seven, eight.